the ETC EOS series of consults and software can be controlled with the LS Wing over OSC. Not only that, but we can also get DMX output on licensed systems through the two DMX jacks on the back of the LS Wing, which utilize ArtNet or SACF. The very first thing that you need to do is make sure that your EOS console is on the same network as your LS Wing. Next, make sure your computer for configuration is also on the same network. To begin, let's turn on the Wing by applying power, and then we'll press number five if it's not already selected for OSC. After 30 seconds, the lights stop flashing, which indicates that the wing has booted up fully. Now you can navigate to the wing's IP address, which by default is 192.168.1.10, or the name lswing.local. You can configure either of these as you wish. Check out our overview video for more information on that. First things first, we're going to go ahead and disable the OSC remote control of the LS Wing. We don't need this function for what we're doing here. This is to control the LS Wing from another device with OSC packets. Now, let's go ahead to targets at the top of our screen. We'll press the plus sign in one of the circles if it's not already selected. Go to ETC and choose EOS OSC. Now, we can enter the IP address of our console or software. And the OSC port that we're sending OSC out on will be 8000. Now, we'll go to the mapping tab. On the mapping page, we can click any of the circles to add a new mapping and press edit. Press yes to make it active. And now we can name it by pressing here at the top and typing. Press any control, fader, or button, and then press add to add an action for that control. Now, press the arrow, and we can now choose the control that we want to map. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and add a learn function on this key. Now, once we've configured our EOS, we can press push and see the test go through without even being in front of our wing. Let's go over to EOS. In EOS, we want to head to our setup menu, which can be accessed by going to displays and setup. Now we'll go to system settings. Under show control, we'll now go to OSC, ensure that receive and transmit are enabled, and set our receive port to 8000. Perfect. Once we've set this up, we're able to test our OSC by pressing our button on our console. I see here that learning is enabled and disabled as I press the button on the LS Wing. Congratulations and enjoy using the LS Wing. To finish your template, you then want to press OK and then go to the rest of the buttons and faders and add the actions that you wish to perform. When you're finished, press save, okay, and then exit to save your mapping. We can also use the DMX ports on the back of the LS Wing to get DMX output through SACN or ArtNet from our EOS console or PC, assuming that it's licensed. Over on the node page of the LS Wing, we'll wanna set up our IP address to be in the same range as our console, and set our DMX ports as SACN. I've set them as DMX 1 and 2. You could use ArtNet as well, but ETC consoles do default to SACN. Now, over in the ETC EOS shell, we'll go ahead and go to settings. Here we can see that SACN is on, it's the default, and it's at full priority. At this point, you're good to go. As long as your IP address of your network of your console or computer is in the same range as the LS Wings node, you're good to go and you'll be getting output from the wing. Congratulations and enjoy using the LS Wing with your ETC EOS console.